Welcome to Greatsave.com. This is the brand new Rapper Classic from Salesport. A slightly different angle on the glove review today. You've got a slightly new format. I'm going to take this glove and I'm also going to take a look at last year's Rapper Classic. And also I'm going to take a look at a glove from another glove series um, from Salesport, which is the... Uh, the, the, the top end range. Um, this is a rap classic which has been around for many years now. It sees very few changes year on year. Um, you've got a winning formula with this glove. People like the glove and they like to get the same fit. There's never an issue with sizing on it or anything like that. If you compare the two gloves, it's a slightly heav heavier glove than new glove. It's a little bit more flexible from what I found when I tried it on a minute ago. That's last year's model and there's no major difference really. All they've done on the new one is they've kind of cut, got a little bit of neoprene material there just to give a bit of extra flexibility at the base of the back end. There's a new tab on this new model. Um, still got the tri lock wrist strap on it as well. So there's no major difference. I'll tell you about the flexibility on this glove once I get the glove on my hand and we can kind of talk about how it fit compared to last year. Obviously tried the glove last year in a size 8. I've put an 8 on again this year and it's exactly the same, there's, there's no issue with sizing. I've uh, got the tri lock wrist strap on this glove, which has been used by Salesport for many years now. Get the nice closure with it. Like I said, there's no issue with the, with the sizing on, on, on this at all. Um, always look for an 8 in a, in a roll finger from Salesport. And that's a, a perfect fit. Not any feedback on the latex yet. Use the same latex they used last year, uh, which is their top of the range Giga Grip latex and the Dijon Giga Grip latex. Gonna need a pre wash, I would say, just from feeling the latex there. Thumb's a little baggy, nothing major, but that's the only kind of negative I've got with this at the minute is that that thumb feel, feels a little baggy. I'm gonna take a ball in now, just get an idea how it feels. Definitely gonna need a pre wash, no doubt about that at all. It's gonna need a pre wash. Does feel a little slippy to start with, but as with all top end gloves, they, they do need a pre-wash. When I say pre-wash, get the nice, get some nice warm water, get some of your lovely gloves, glove wash or glove wash you may have, and uh, give them a wash. Once they're once they're wet, keep them damp because it makes sense to keep them damp um, because once they're wet, they will come alive. But it's, it's a nice glove. Like that. The only concern was that that thumb area does feel a little bit baggy on me, um, but sizing wise. Fine. I'm going to compare it to the, a glove from the Prodigy uh, series now, which is a totally different fitting glove, and I found these gloves a far snugger fit. It's got a totally different wrist strap on it. On this Prodigy glove, you've just got the standard wrist strap. You've got no tri lock on this glove. I've already done some reviews on Great Tape TV on this glove. The um, Prodigy gloves come with, but well, these extreme gloves come with. Uh, a film that needs to be removed on the palm um, and the fit is totally different to be honest it's a far snugger fit in size 8 it's got a tight thumb on it so if you want your standard fit in Salesport glove your wrapper classics you want to go for if you're looking for any of the gloves in the in the extreme prodigy series you know that just bear in mind that they're, they're a tighter fitting glove the protect version of this prodigy glove you want to go up pretty much a whole size in it because once you've got finger protection in this, it's a very, very tight fitting glove. So that's the difference between the two, really. Um, I'd say Rapper Classic's a bit heavier. Um, it's a bit more, it's a bit more bulky on the back end. Where this has got some sort of that, where that's got high groove, this has got more kind of uh, protection on it. It's kind of cut a little bit away there as well, just for a little bit of extra movement. There's no wrap over thumb on that. That's probably the Thing that lets the glove down and there's no wrap over thumb on it but the wrist wrap's nice on this as it is on this it just depends whether you like tri lock if you like tri lock straps and it works for you it's a nice strap or you just got your standard closure on there with your standard strap which is perfect fit thanks for watching today's videos if you've got any questions you can pop them across to me martin at great hyphen save.com we can email one of the team here at great save which is uh, orders at great hyphen save.com if there's any love videos you like to see any products I've not reviewed yet that are new on the marketplace that we do have in stock on the Great Save website we'll be happy to, uh, to do any reviews on any gloves we do have in stock I can't review any gloves we don't have here at greatsave.com thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you again soon